Okay, welcome to week four, a video showcasing pull straps one and two from my private classes. This is the exercise I've been blogging quite a lot about with complaining about the burn in my hamstrings and glutes. This really fries that part of my body and highlights the lack of stamina. So here Amy's just talking me through the alignment, which is actually quite a difficult thing for me. It's an awareness thing. You've got to build up your awareness to when you're in a straight line and when your body is in the right position. So thankfully Amy's talking me through. Now as I pull the straps down and towards the floor, as my hands come back, my body, upper body lifts into extension, and then as I return the straps, it, it goes back down into a straight line. Now for this, you've got to maintain really strong glute and hamstring activation. Your shoulders have to be really stabilized, and we actually noticed quite a big instability in my right shoulder, although it's my stronger of the two. The exercise showed that my right shoulder really likes to drop and is actually less stable than my left one. So this was a really valuable exercise in highlighting my instabilities and weaknesses. Okay, now moving on to pull straps two on the long box. This is really hard for the shoulders because of how wide your arms have to be and you're reducing the leverage quite a lot by widening the arms. So this is really difficult and it's really important to keep strain out of my lower back and that's done by tensing the glutes even harder and pulling the belly button towards the spine to activate the core um, I had to try really hard on this exercise to keep my right shoulder in place and you can see by the twisting of my upper torso that there's instability there now we're going on to pull straps two with one one arm this is my weaker shoulder the left shoulder but it is more stable but it's weaker in muscular strength so the form's pretty horrific here watch how my body twists as I pull it twists in the upper torso and the shoulders and it also moves from on the horizontal plane on left to right as well to, due to a uh, weakness in my my right core there you can see my right shoulder lifts quite bad and yeah I'm really tired by this point and my form my form goes goes out the window so yeah, you can see I should be completely in a straight line. I should be able to do this exercise. It's hard, but I should be able to do it with, you know, with relative competence. And I thought I was quite strong. It's slightly better form as I move on to my right shoulder. Although you can see I'm hunching up in my left shoulder just a little bit there, just because I'm tired. And as I move the straps down, I do quite a good job of keeping my my upper torso straight. Um, but it's it's still very taxing and very tiring. See, there's a little twist there in my upper body. Lower body is not too bad. I kind of understand it a bit more. I think that lends to the strength that I have in this shoulder, albeit being unstable. And you can see it likes to drop a little bit there. Weakness in the rhomboid subscap muscles. But this is week four, so there's a lot to be desired on this. But I hope that gives you a good example of, of pull straps.